Most people who download a Notion template go about setting it up completely wrong. This is a full guide on how I recommend adding everything into your Notion. I'll be using my productivity template headquarters, which is linked in the description. However, of course, you can follow along if you have someone else's template, but how dare you, or if you've made your own Notion setup. All right, this here is headquarters, my template. The first thing I do is change cover and I just remove it. I want to see this here above the fold and the banner just takes up a bit of room. So the first thing I do is go down here to my life buckets. Now this could be called areas or it could be buckets, but basically I want to ensure that I have all of these different buckets in my life. So in headquarters by default, we have journaling, admin, fitness, business, relationship, family and friends, study, career, job, and this template here. Now, if you downloaded headquarters after the first day that it was released, then you don't need this template here, so you can simply delete that. So you might have some other stuff that you wanna add here. Maybe you have a main business, but you also have a side hustle. So what you could do here is type side hustle, and then what you'll do is select the new bucket, of course, if you're using headquarters, and then this template here will load in. So we have the tasks, the notes, and the related projects. So what I wanna do first is make sure I have all of the different buckets in my life. The reason we're doing that is everything will connect to these. And because I've got on this question, yes, you can change this to the name of your business. So productive setups, it will still work. All of this will still connect. So you can change any of these names here and you can add as many life buckets as you want. All right, the next step that I do is scroll up and go here to your project. So what you want to do is add all of these projects here and those projects will relate to these life buckets. That's why we did the life buckets first. So before I add a fake project, what I'm going to do here is click on this down arrow and here we have the new project as the default. I'm just going to click on these three dots here and click on edit. And what I like to do is just remove this sentence here, change the filter to the name of this new project that is there again for the people who downloaded the template the first day that it came out. So now when we click on new project, I can write set up Etsy store as an example. And here I can relate my life bucket. So I can click here and I'm going to relate this to side hustle, for example. And then here I have the status of deadline. So I might say the deadline here is let's just say next week. And now I have this project here. I really recommend you add all of your different projects here. If you need help picking which projects that you should focus on, I recommend checking out my course, Productive with Notion, where I go through how to develop a strategy and then implement that strategy into your Notion workspace. The course is linked in the description. It's perfect if you struggle with procrastination, knowing what to focus on and staying organized. So you'll have all of your projects in Notion and if you're using headquarters, you can view it in these different tabs and these projects are linked to a life bucket. Step number three is now adding tasks. So there's a few different ways of doing this. You can either add it into your project. So if I open up project here, you can see the project task. So if I add a new page here, by default, this task here will relate to set up Etsy store. Create Etsy banner, for example. I'll just make this full screen. And let's be honest, this isn't that important. It's not that urgent. The state here, it's a pretty easy task. And then we can say the bucket that it relates to. So that would be side hustle. Now, what I like to do is just add in all of the different tasks. So I'll just do task two, task three. And what you can do, let's say they're all relating to side hustle. You'll just click on it. And then you can simply drag this down here. And there we go. They are all to do with side hustle. And you can do the same thing with importance. Let's say they're all not important. You can simply just use this and drag that down. And now they're all not important. Or you can go through and select these individually. Okay, are these habits, are they urgent, are they not urgent? This one, let's say this is flow, this one's quick. So now we're adding all of the tasks in here specifically to set up Etsy store. And obviously if you add them here under your project, they will appear here in your task list as well as everything is connected. So here we can see under the order tab, it's automatically ordering these for us. So the urgent stuff comes up before the non-urgent stuff. And having this order here will help us to schedule out our week as we know we should be doing the stuff here that's most important and most urgent first. So if I just add something new in here, instead of adding it to a project, let's just say task four, and I say that this is urgent. As you can see, it jumps up here to the top. We have task four, important and urgent, above not important and urgent. And obviously at the bottom, not important, not urgent. Scheduling out your week using this Eisenhower method is really vital. All right, after we've added all of our different tasks, and obviously that might take a while, after that we are going to scroll down and look at topics. And I'll make this full screen here. What I like to do is just add in all of the topics 
that I'm often thinking about. So you don't have to do this, but I find it quite useful to just add them in at the start. So I'm just going to say productivity is something that I'm interested in. And then obviously this template loads in here so we can see our resources and we can see our notes. So as an example, if I click here to add a note, now we can make sure our notes are going to the right places because we have all of this set up. So we have our life buckets. So I'll say side hustle. We have our projects. I'll say set up Etsy store. And we have now our topics of interest. So I'll just say productivity, blah, blah, blah. And now when I click away, that note has been taken and it's in all of the relevant places that I need it. So I recommend adding your topics in here. Step number five is to look at the habits in your task database. So in here, as you can see, we have habit one, two, and three. Obviously you can add as many as you want, but probably if you have any more than three habits per day, it's going to get quite overwhelming. So I'll show you the two habits options that I recommend in Notion. Let's change habit one here to running. Let's say you run every single day. So what I'm going to do is click on these three dots here and click on edit. And what I'll do here is change this to running. Now by default, this urgency is habit. As you can see, this is something we do on a consistent basis. So it's a habit. Then here we can say the importance. Let's say that this is important to us and it is a personal state task. After that, we can add the bucket. So let's say that this is fitness and you can add a project. Maybe you're training for a marathon or something. If you don't have a relevant project, then don't feel the need to add one. And by default, let's say you run every single day for 30 minutes. You can type in 30 here, but obviously you don't have to fill that in. You can do that after you've gone for the run. So now let's say you've gone for a run. We'll click on plus here and we will select running. And now all of this gets added. So when I click away, I can see running here. And once I've gone for a run, I can say, hey, that took 30 minutes this time and I can tick it in. That way it's been completed and it gets removed from this view here. Of course, we can find it under all this week though. So I recommend adding all of your different habits in here. Now the second option for habits is having a habit list. So I'll click on edit here for habit two and let's just call this the habit list. And here what you could do if you have very many habits, you could write them all in here. So you'll write your list in here, whatever it is for this list. Because if you're having all of these as tasks in here, it just might become a bit cluttered. So now what you can do is click on plus and select the habits list. And now all of this will load in and you can go through and tick these off as you do them throughout the day. And then when this list is complete, you can check this in. The last step in bringing everything into Notion is your routine. So in headquarters, we have the routine button. And if you click on the edit button here, you can see we have habit one, two, and three. So what we're going to do is simply drag this here onto a separate line. That way we can edit it. And what I'll do here is just set up another habit and we'll say yoga, urgency is habit, importance is not important. We'll say it's personal. If we want, we can add a new bucket. We probably don't need a project for this. And now I can click away. So now I have this yoga and running that I want to do every single day as part of my routine. So what I'll do is click on this edit button and here we have habits one, two, and three. So I'll simply just delete these here. And now what I'm going to do is just drag yoga in here and do the same thing with running, drag that in here. And now I'll click on done. So now I have this routine button and I can drag it here back to the top. So today, if I want my routine, I can simply click on this button here. I have these two and I can drag that into today. And now I have yoga with all of these settings and I have running with all of these settings. Now we've brought in all of your life buckets, all of your projects, all of your tasks, all of your topics, all of your habits and your daily routine. So the last step now is to plan your week. If you want help developing a strategy on how to plan your week, then click on this video here, which is for my course. Or if you're not a headquarters user and you find this interesting, then click on this video here for a full tour of this template.